just one clip of some of the frightening footage from last night's severe storms we've seen over the past 24 hours. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Mannix. We have team coverage of the aftermath tonight. Nico Panisi is live out in the field, but first we'll start with meteorologist Beverly Perry with new details about the storm. Beverly. Yes, absolutely. Now the Storm Prediction Center, it has classified this event as a derecho, and we saw strong winds across most of the area. The highest wind, however, that was in Fort Wayne, 98 mile per hour wind gusts. That is actually now a new record. The previous record was 91, and that was set by our derecho that was on June 29th of 2012. So this is yet now the strongest derecho for us here in recent history. Now, what is a derecho? Well, it's a widespread, long-lived windstorm. It's typically associated with those fast-moving squall lines or bow echoes, much of what we saw yesterday. Now, those wind gusts are at least 58 miles per hour, and we certainly had stronger ones. And that path, that damage path, it extends more than 240 miles. And typically, Kelsey, we have a frequency about one per year across northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. All right, thanks so much for that, Beverly. And now an update on power outage numbers in Northeast Indiana. Indiana, Michigan Power says we're currently looking at 20,393 people without power in Allen County, just under 400 people in the Decatur area without power. The restoration time for Fort Wayne is currently about 11 p.m. on Thursday. Crews from five different states are here working to assist with that cleanup. 